practically determination of pH uh, for that we use uh, pH meter to calibrate this we have some special solutions in the uh, here today we are not practicing the calibration process uh, we uh, go through with the practical directly okay uh, first of all we have to uh, wash this bulb and not with distilled water Then we have to wipe, uh, we have to block them. Uh, it, the special thing in this uh, step is we shouldn't wipe this, we have to only block the bulb. Then this is the fruit juice we are going to today uh, use in our analysis practical. We have to touch this knob in fruit juice automatically after that we can get the value for pH and the uh, same time we have to uh, temp, uh, note down the temperature You have to keep in your mind, we have to clean the cross when we distill water. And again, block the tissue paper. The next practical is determination of total soluble solid in fruit juice. For that we can use refractometer. There are two types of refractometer. Here this is the digital refractometer and there is the manual one. For, uh, in using this digital refractometer first we have to uh, switch on the machine and then add some water drop here after that we have to uh, close it with the cup like that this cup and get the reading here it is the reading is zero then we have to wipe this water drop and get the drop of solution we are going to analyze and again cap with this cup and get the read this is the view of the sample we tested main refractometer uh, when we use this one we first we have to uh, open this uh, lid of the tool then we have to wash it with distilled water then we can wipe it and put little bit of the sample
we have to spread it very well for a correct reading then close the lid and get the value from through our naked eye Next, we are going to determine the titratable acidity of the fruit juice. So, first we have to correctly weigh 5 grams, 5 gram of fruit juice and then we add 10 ml of distilled water with it. Then we have to heat it uh, in under mild temperature for 3 minutes. After taking from the heat, then we have to let it cool down for a certain period. After that, we transfer this mixture to a 100 ml polymetric glass. and volume up with this deep water. Then we have to mix it well. Then we take little amount of this mixture to a small beaker. of mixture and transfer to conical glass. Before titrating sodium hydroxide solution, we have to add some uh, indicator. Here we use some phenoxone. We add one, two drops. with 0.1 sodium hydroxide
we titrate uh, against sodium hydrate, hydroxide until we get to pale pink color. Now you can observe the pale pink color, the color change in the end point. This titration is repeated at least three times and we can get the average value for the end point.